Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna be putting a CDU motor in a RXP. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe so we can do more videos like this. Now, this is what we're doing today. We got this beautiful RXPX, and we already, I already took the motor out, um, rebuilt the motor, and a lot of you guys have asked me to do a video installing a motor. So I'm going to try to give you all the little tips and stuff how to install a motor. Now, you guys know that I don't do like every little step. I just give you the important stuff. So here we go. Here's the motor, ready to go. All right, so another little tip is, a lot of people mess up the starter. The starter, when you taking it off and putting it in the motor, you're supposed to use a rubber mallet. So you can just hit it and it will go in there. And to take it out the same way, you hit it right here. Don't ever hit it in the middle because it has all the magnets. And they, if you hit it hard enough, they will crack. And then you need a starter. Now, this is another little tip. Um, you see, this is a water exit from the from the exhaust manifold. You see how much stuff it has on it? Like, this is not good. Um, eventually, it, was, it, it will keep growing and it will start leaking through there. So, I like to clean them with whatever you can, you know. I use um, this brush, it's a metal brush. And I also clean this one here too, so it seals nice and, and good so you don't have uh, exhaust inside your hole. That would definitely slow your jet ski down if you have exhaust inside and the motor then breathes it back inside. I'm just talking Chinese, huh? Hmm. Anyway, it's no good when you have a leak. It doesn't matter if it's exhaust or if it's water. That's my point. All right, so this is what it looks like. I, you know, it don't have to be perfect, but that is good enough for me. And I did this one here too, it's nice and smooth. So that's it. All right, so I don't really disconnect anything. This came like this. So I usually keep the computer on the actual intake. And I just put it to the side and make sure that all these hoses are not under here. And these wires on this side. Um, that's it. Here we go with the motor inside now and we we'll start putting it together. So this is another little tip is before you put the motor all the way in, you got access, easy access to your ground, your power. You just move it that way. Um, that hose right there under the exhaust manifold and the small hose that we clean. So you got easy access now to all that. Once you put the motor all the way down then it's a little harder so you might want to do it now all right guys so i dropped i didn't notice that i dropped the gopro and i cracked the screen so i can't see it now but maybe you guys are gonna see a little funky line down the middle it's the cracked screen so sorry next time i'll have a brand new gopro all right, so now the motor is in. We put the carbon seal on because it's nice and easy. We tighten this hose for the cooling and the one on the bottom. Put this plug in now to your charging system plug. Make sure that it's in because sometimes this little clip doesn't clip. And check it. If you notice, this side is really yellow and this side is kind of brown. It's because they heat up right here. This connection is really bad. It doesn't really work for the kind of current that is going through here. So on the new ones, 2021, this plug is all the way on the on the charging system. So there's no in you know something like this on the middle. It just goes from here all the way to the charging system, and that's the way it should be. So they they got away with this. Now if yours is all burned up and stuff, what you can do is either replace it with a new one with a new plug or 
you can just spice it together. Cut it up and just put it together and the only bad thing is, which, you know, you're not gonna be blowing motors all the time. So the next time you, you gotta get your motor out, then you just have to um, cut it and then, you know, spice it back together. So, and if you do that, you should weld it, not just clamp it together. That's the right way to do it. So now we are going to put the exhaust and then the intake. Put some oil in and crank up this baby. All right, guys, so got everything in it. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna prime the motor a little bit. Um, I disconnected all injectors, no spot plugs, and we're gonna turn it. And I'm gonna turn it for about, keep turning the motor for about 10 seconds. And so it gets lubricated and then we're gonna start it up. So we'll see, it's already nighttime. So it took me a little longer than what I expected. And there was a lot of things missing. Um, this chest key came apart when I got it. So I had to find a lot of bolts and stuff. So it's ready to go. So we'll see what happened. Three days later. All right, guys, the moment of the truth. We're gonna start it up. See what we got. Uh-oh, we got a body injector. So we got a bot injector. Now we got to deal with that. This thing like always, there's always something wrong. It's not just one thing. So when we put the motor in, it wouldn't start. Nothing. Like tick tock, tick tock, one of those tick tock. So it was the, the, st um, the starter solenoid. So this is the old one. We put a new one in and it, it started right up but then it was missing there was um it was just doing one of those da, 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 da. so the injectors were clogged so took out the injector now look at this all the rust like i don't think this injector can even be clean um this happens when when the jet ski is, is apart for a long time and it goes from one shop to the other shop, it rained, maybe got a little water inside the hole. Who knows the story, but had a bad injectors. And then when you tell the clients, hey, had a bad injector, oh, but why, you know, it, it used to run when I gave it to you. Things happen. And this is a perfect example of things going wrong while just sitting, doing nothing. So here we go. Let's see if we fix the problem. Wow. Many hours later.
with these things you never know. So now we got the battery light on. There's always something. Always something with this jet ski. But at least it's, it's running pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Um, it is a brand new motor, so I'm gonna take it easy for a little bit. And, and that's it, just step on it. I mean, it's bone stock, so it should be around 70, 900 RPM, so not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna spend around 15, 20 minutes breaking the motor in. Um, that's about it. So here we go. Um, everything came out perfect. The jet ski runs perfect. So just remember guys to comment, like, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Fearless.